Alright, we're going to play some Earthworm Gym 3D. Not the original Sega Genesis Earthworm Gym, the good one. We're playing the debatably the worst Earthworm Gym game ever made. <laughs> uh, Earthworm Gym 3D. So yeah, I quite enjoyed it when I first played it. So uh, let's see if it still <laughs> is. Uh, let's see if I still hold the same opinion. Um, so yeah, it's. Uh, <laughs> I like how it has like a jibber jabber language. <laughs> so if you. If you just want to play the game with absolute nonsense coming up on screen, like text boxes and stuff, then yeah, <laughs> it makes it all the more crazy. So uh, pick a game. I got this game second hand. That is the one I'm currently up to. Um, I've got six golden udders. That, for those that don't know, golden udders are equivalent to like the gold stars in Super Mario 64. Um, this is the person that owned the game before me. They got 12 gold udders. They must have completed the game. I, I don't know. Uh, so yeah. So we're just going to start a whole new game. <laughs> you join us in County Hospital where our hero is in a bed. Oh. He has turned his brain into worm mush. Okay. Things look pretty bad. Only a miracle could save our boy now. At his bedside, close family and celebrity buddies fear the worst. They are powerless to help. The nurse searching for a sign shakes his head. Now the battle is in Jim's mind. I never knew what he said until now I think he says there's only one ego for this job and it's a really big one I think he says that Earthworm Jim is that you? Uh, eh, I don't know I feel sort of funny I feel smaller yeah that's it smaller but groovier I'm Peter Puppy, your best friend and brain tour guide. You must be Jim's super ego. Released by your brain as the last line of defense to stop total global annihilation. What is this place? Is it a rest room? Is there a rest room in here? I feel I really gotta go. This is Brain Central, the fuse box of your mind. Sorry if my reading's really bad, it's like 2.25 in the morning. <laughs> and uh, if you're wondering why the quality of the video is not that great, it's because I'm actually recording this directly from my N64, so no, emula no emulation here, folks. It's where your four worm brains connect, and no, you'll have to wait. Right now, brains are in turmoil and your sanity is in danger your worst fears and anxieties have been released and are trashing your tiny mind face up to it Jim you've lost your marbles and you'd better get them back no more uh, no mere thought is mightier than the super ego of Earthworm Jim uh, bring on the bad guys. Not just yet, buddy. Before you can go here, I am contractually contractually obliged to supply some information. Collect your marbles to fix the fabric of your mind. The more you get, the higher your IQ will be. <laughs> and as you get smarter, the doors will open up in your head. Finding golden udders will recharge the powers of the sacred cow of contempt contemplation. It controls the portals to your brain and is your only ch chance for full recovery. Take this first udder and begin your quest. 
And remember, Earthworm Jim, your brain is in a dangerous place. Yeah, that was a lot of text. <laughs> um, interesting, though, that Jim's brain is actually 3D. And in the comics and in his uh, original game, he's 2D, so pretty interesting. I've taken 27 steps already. Wow, okay. So, uh, where do we go through here, I guess? Use the camera to explore your head. See left and see right, rotate your view. See up button will zoom the camera in and out. Hold down R and the camera will stay behind you. Hold down R and press C up to look around. Use the control stick to direct your view. Press C up again to return to the normal view. Oh my gosh. There's a lot of info to bombard someone with when they're first starting out. Um, it's pretty easy. Uh, you got to be pretty special to not actually get what they're saying, but it's, yeah. <laughs> I can see both sides. Who dares comfort the sacred cow or memories at his shiny altar? It is I, if I'm Jim, superhero turned super ego. Can it be the chosen worm? Actually, I've come at a bad time. Could you call back? <laughs> Don't stand in my way, Cal. I've been sent to fix things. Your arch enemy, Psycho, has invaded this brain and fixated on a single bad memory. You might not think you remember the terrible farmyard war of 72, but you do. You were still a child when the war ended, but it was locked in your in your mind. Uh, now you must travel into the past to resolve the conflict between the beasts. And end is clutching hell. And and in this clucking hell. <laughs> By the great worm spirit, I will write this wrong. No crow messes with my head. Before you go to work, you'll need to know about getting into your mind. The doors around here will only open when you find enough marbles. Break the marble high score in each area of your brain to increase the amount of marble count. Use the start button to check your high scores to date. I'll open the first door for free. And watch out, worm guy, it's a farmyard out there. It's a farmyard out there. Yeah. Okay, so you use the C stick to rotate the camera. Man, it looks like crap because it's like. I'm using the AV cords, I don't have like a high definition input for my uh, Nintendo 64. An emulation would fix that, but it's yeah. a farm I just can't get this game to emulate properly. I've tried it. it. Doesn't work. Like the marbles, like clip through the the foreground. It's really weird. Use heli, buddy. Yeah, I, I know how to do that. Just <laughs> I played it with Jim. All right, I know what I'm doing. I'm, oh my god, what am I doing? <laughs> um. The longer you hold down the A button, the higher you'll jump. Okay. Press B and A to do a super groovy jump. Oh, like that. You can't get up there, though. Oh, you can. You can. Oh. Okay, what does this guy say? 
fire your blaster by holding on to the, C, the Z button. Keep holding and rotate the control stick. To spray your fire, okay. That feels pretty cool. Firing the weapons feels quite nice. Oh, I almost went in there then. Okay. We're just gonna do the first chapter because, yeah. Um, I don't want this video going for too long. Whip by pressing C. C down. Oh yeah, cool. <laughs> hey, I remember that from the Earthworm Jim game, the original one. Looks like that opened the door, but there's a... Oh, there's this, so I want to see what's up here. I could have sworn I could get up there, but I can't. Oh well. That's cool. Go through here, I suppose. What's this guy want? Watch out, Jimmy. Villain Ahoy. Press B to dodge his missiles. When you're ready to use the control stick to roll about. Okay. Okay, well that that was good. supposed to dodge the attack, but I didn't. Alright. <laughs> this isn't a bad game, like I've played other N64 games which control a lot worse than this. And I can see what they're going for, it's, it's quite a cool game actually. I actually think it's almost a hidden gem, I would go to as far as to say, because it's it's quite a unique platformer. Power. Cool. Is there funny idle animations like there was in the original? Let's just find out. Wait around. <laughs> Wasn't he was in Clay Fighter as well for the 64, but uh, I didn't really play. It. I think I played it once when I was real young. I went to a youth group and that had um, they had all these N64s set up in the church and it was really cool. We all just hung out and played video games and stuff. Oh yeah, there is. There is idle animations, that's actually quite cool. I just take a while for you to be able to get them. Okay, so now what? Okay, he's dead. Crap, I killed the hamster. Uh, now what do I do? Do I just go back out? You just have to make it back. I can't remember what to do. Okay, you don't go through there. <laughs> Look at that. It's actually pretty cool. Sorry it looks like crap, you know, it's uh... Are you sure you want to leave? Now let me keep playing, I want more marbles. Yes, I want to leave. Okay, no, I'll, I'll stay, because I don't know whether I'm going the right way. I feel like I'm not going the right way. Uh, I haven't played this in years. I think I rented it out originally. I was like, oh, Earthworm Jim, awesome. Because I played, I used to go to my friend's house and play the, uh, the Earthworm Jim Special Edition on PC. And, um, man, like, I, I was obsessed with that game. <laughs> okay, yeah, this is the next area. I was going the wrong way. So, Jim's got like a tiptoe animation, which is quite nice. Um, I love his running animation, I think that's quite cool. Of course, it would look cooler if it was 2D, but um, 
because I just love the 2D platformer. But uh, yeah, I think it's just like a Rayman Legends style game would just be absolutely beautiful. Is he a bad guy? I feel like he's a bad guy. Eddie Soldier, you're the sorriest looking chicken I've ever seen. Merciful Mung Beans, it's Colonel Pluckett, the great war hero. That's right, son, and I've got a mission for you. A mission for me? Groovy. Those treacherous cows have enlisted the help of the hedgehog mercenaries. The prickly pranksters have stolen my briefs. Your top secret battle plans. Oh, your top secret battle plans? No, my underwear. <laughs> Get them back for me, son. Ch chicken kind depends on it. No problem, plug it. You can debrief me when I get back. That's actually pretty clever. That's quite cool. I like the sound when you collect the marbles. It's really cool. Alright. Shoot. Oh, crap. Okay. Okay, this camera is awful. I think I'm doing it wrong anyway. Okay, never mind. I'm just retarded. <laughs> I was doing it wrong. So now what do I do? I just... Hurry, Jim, and find my underwear. There's a chill wind blowing. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. Alright, so we found the... Um... Ooh, crap. I have to do the um, the helicopter heady thingy. Okay. Oh shoot! Check out them skills. And he gets the marble. Holy crap! This is brutal. Okay. Is that a hole in the floor? Yes, it is. Ow. Okay. Okay, it's not that bad. Once you kind of get used to it. <laughs> Once you get used to just how bad it plays, it's actually really good. No, nah, it's um, it's actually quite good. I like it. So far. <laughs> uh, notice it, it twists the camera. I was trying to fight the camera, but um, you shouldn't do that. Just let it do its thing. It puts the camera in the proper place. Yeah, there goes his briefs. <laughs> briefs or boxes? That is the question to you guys. Any boys out there prefer, uh, or girls? I don't know. Maybe he's like wearing boxer shorts. I personally prefer briefs. Which I need to go shopping for more briefs soon. I really try not to shop for clothes if I can help it. And underwear shopping is even more like, oh, you know. can't grab onto that with your head and uh, <laughs> like you could in the original game, you could just use your head as like a, a, another arm basically.
This game's fantastic. <laughs> Am I trolling you, or am I actually telling the truth? Uh, it's it's not bad. It's, it's still pretty good. I'm enjoying it so far. It's it's not easy, but yeah, it's a lot different to uh, the 2D one, obviously. Oh, I hate these guys. <laughs> Have some of that. All right. Well, no. I thought I'd really suck at the platforming because it's quite an old game and. The controls aren't too bad. Yeah, you can't get up there, but you have to jump up this bit here. Helicopter hit across. Oh no, that's not going to work. You know what? Screw it. It's only one marble. We're going to try one more time. Ah, and we got it. Sweet. <laughs> and there goes the pants. Oh, what? No! <laughs> okay. Let's try that again. Oh, <laughs> What was I saying about the platforming again? Never mind. <laughs> okay, he does that roll and it's like, okay, stop. Okay, right. Oh, that's right, you gotta press this. I'm doing it wrong. <laughs> okay. Once again, it was my own stupid fault. Ooh, a marble. <laughs> my autism's telling me to collect them all. This is absolute insanity. I love it. It actually would make a lot of sense that the three D earthworm gym would be like in his brain. <laughs> okay, so I move the underwear. If I if I whip it again Okay, it just dies. <laughs> okay. Okay, is that? That's all of it, I think. I just need to jump up and grab them now. I think. Nope. Uh oh. What? The enemies come back? Oh shoot. Nah, I think I've got to um, take care of business. So, Doug, when are we getting a remake of this? <laughs> HD remaster. Um, you know, because remakes and reboots are all the rave lately. Well, they have been since like 2010. You could do like high definition, uh, like comic book cutscenes and stuff. It'd be pretty sweet. I, what I really want to see though is a Bigfoot Bill game. That would be freaking awesome. Right. So I smoked them all. Uh, still can't get the underwear. Nope. No underwear for me. Oh, 
There must be another hamster wheel I'm missing. So I feel like that under there's like halfway. If I gone no, I'm not going back. Screw that. What's this? Uh oh. I feel like the flow in this is pretty good, like I only got really stuck once because I didn't know where to go, but it flows quite nicely. Smoother than some games. I mean, you got to look at it this way, Doug, if you're listening to this. You did a pretty good job compared to Sonic the Hedgehog's first 3D adventure, so yeah. Kudos. Oh shoot. There's a freaking psycho there. What are you doing? Get out. Okay. Okay. Go up here, take a shot, retreat. Got him. That's a guy. Oh, that's right, the mushrooms. <laughs> Man, there must be something seriously wrong with me. I've, uh, I'm here at frickin' 10 to 3 in the morning playing Earthworm Gym. 3D. These little midget guys are awesome. What are they? <laughs> They're freaking awesome. Shoot these down. And then I have some here too. And then there's a couple here. Okay. Okay, that's not working. Oh, dear. Dear. Oh, there's a door. We gotta open it somehow. There's gotta be a button somewhere. Uh oh. Getting pretty good at this dodging thing. He says, well, almost getting shot. Okay, good. That must have been the last one. Alright, we'll get some more midgets if we can. The heck, those midgets are useless against the chickens. <laughs> you saw that, right? That was ridiculous. <laughs> okay. Now, all this just to whip a freaking hamster. <laughs> Must be getting close. I think there's one more door is there that I just gotta figure out how to get into. We go. I don't think it's uh, retrievable from here, is it? Oh, you can almost reach it with a double jump. That would be so perfect.
Damn, what if I double jump and then I helicopter down? No. Okay. We're almost there. How long has this been? Half an hour. Oh dear. Half an hour. I wanted to make it a reasonably quick video, so... Let's get this done. We're just going to get the first one, like we said. Just going to get this underwear sorted and we'll be right. <laughs> That's probably the weirdest thing I've ever said. Yeah. Alright, let's do it. Whoa, that was close. <laughs> Not sure what happened there, but okay. No! Yeah. Oh, I see. And just like that. I wonder if you can actually touch it somehow before it reaches its the end area. Probably a way. But I don't know if it'll register it. Probably has to be in that spot before you can retrieve it, unfortunately. Yay, undies! Now where do we go? I think we go... Oh, I was thinking you had to go through this big double door, but... Oh, you've got to give them back to him, of course. How silly of me. Oh, hang on, my bag's freaking killing me, I'm an old man. 34! 34 years old, <laughs> and I've got the body of an 80 year old man, <laughs> in every way, <laughs> okay, So then we're just going to run back through this absolute hell, the barrels. Oh, they're not going to drop down this time. Oh, we say, uh, oh, 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 crap. Okay. Oh, there he is. Uh oh. All right, we're back over. Now we've just got to carefully get over here. Here he is. Holy cow. Where's Colonel Pluckett? I'm Gunnery Sergeant Moo Cellini. <laughs> the Colonel has been captured and taken to our poultry of war camp. Um, under subsection all of the Farmyard Convention, Paragraph B, Directive 9197. I am obligated to return any items of underwear to the prisoners. To the prisoner. <laughs> Go ahead, take them. They don't fit me anyway. <laughs> I'm wondering if there's like any hidden messages if you use the gibberish uh, text. Maybe there's something funny. Um, I'll be interested to see if there is. Hey, Calvin Clark, nice fabric. This guy's got taste. You seem like a battle-hardened soldier. We could use your help. <coughs> Excuse me. Take out the bomb-laying chicken upstairs, or we'll be, or we'll all, or we're all mincemeat. Uh, sorry. Uh, never fear. I'll fry that bird in my own special blend of herbs and spices. Yum. Remember, soldier, when you dispatch that bird, report to me. Now move it. Okay. So now I can go through that door, but now I have to go all the way back through that crap. Cool. 49 marbles. Right. Oh. 
Do I go that way or do I go back the way I came? I, I, I don't know. Oh no, I do go back this way. So there's a full bridge there now. Somehow fixed it. Uh oh. <laughs> well, we got the first lot of udders, so we'll end that here. Um, and we will. Oh, since I'm getting my ass kicked now. Um, and then we will figure out what the hell to do next. Alright. Oh. There's a, there's a door. Is that a door? No. Yeah, this is probably a good time to end it. <laughs> yeah, we'll find this frickin'. We've got to get out of the, this thing. I got no idea where I am. Are you sure you want to leave? Uh, yeah, I can. I can leave. Oh, no, nah, shit. I'll figure out what's going on. I feel like I'm going the complete wrong way. It's further upstairs, isn't it? I think. Yeah, that's right. Oh, almost there. I think. Oh no, this is where he is. I have no idea where I'm going. Oh, it's up here. I get it. I get it. It probably would have been a shorter recording time if I didn't read at a third grade level. <laughs> but hey, it's like early in the morning, give me a break. I need to go to bed. Let's go through here and figure out what's going on. Oh, what's going on? I can't see. The camera's running the wrong way. Alright. Oh, it's that double door that's through here, isn't it? Go, Earthworm Jim, run. But you can't run from yourself. <laughs> uh, right. Here I go. Yeah, I reckon a Bigfoot Bill game would be pretty sweet. Oh, shoot. Alright, I'm gonna go here, I'm gonna bounce up, grab it. Oh, what? Come on, I can't jump that many. That's a bit ridiculous, guys. Smart as a waffle. Waffle from Cat Scratch. <laughs> I don't, waffle wasn't even invented then. How crazy is that? Oh. I've been watching quite a bit of Cat Scratch uh, lately. Showed my mum and my sister that, and they love it. Um, you gotta find it in like the dark corners of the internet because there's just nowhere to like Nickelodeon don't play it. They like to pretend they never, never uh, hired Doug and never freaking put that show on there, which is really weird. I don't understand it. 
there should be DVDs of that show everywhere, it's fantastic. Um, just, the character designs just look really cool as well. Like, you can tell just by looking at Blick that he's a prick, like he's a selfish git, you know? And then you've got, uh, uh, Gordon and, and Waffle. Crap. Gordon's accent's awesome, Scottish accent. Oh. We're gonna risk these marbles. Because we can. Are those egg bombs though? It's pretty clever actually, this game. Where the heck am I now? I feel like I'm going the wrong way. Yeah, I feel like that's the wrong way. I don't know. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go to this door. Here. Even though there's egg bombs like fucking everywhere. It's a good idea. I think this is where you're supposed to go. And if it's not, well, I'll be damned because. I don't know where else I haven't been. I feel like I've been here before. Yeah, I have. I've killed the hamsters and everything. <laughs> yep, yeah, I'm going backwards. What a clown. through there. Is it, is it like, uh, instead of going this way, maybe I should go this way. Maybe it goes through here. Sure, I'll, I'll go. Now what? Can I talk to the... Back from the Warzone 8, remember, never give up. A good fight. Okay. I felt like I just did. That's the area. Alright, well we're gonna leave it here now anyway. Because, uh, this is the next area you're supposed to go to. It took me, like, a whole lot of running around to find it. So, thank you guys so much for watching. And, um, I'll see you in the next one if I play this again. If you guys want to see more. If you just want to see more, then let me know. Um, but yeah. Just thought I'd chuck it on. I haven't recorded any of my older consoles, so I thought it'd be kind of cool to do. Alright, catch you later.